Hi there Scorpio, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future and I'm going to be pulling out oracle cards at the end. Okay Scorpio, so let's get started. Can I get the past energy for Scorpio please? The past energy for Scorpio. 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 Scorpio. So it's the most recent past. Or you could even be going through it now. So just take it as is, okay? So the past energy for Scorpio. Scorpio. All right, one more. Scorpio. Okay. So the past energy for Scorpio. It's death. That's your card right there with the moon, okay. All these cards, okay, I'll take it. It's the seven of swords, the ace of swords in reverse with the page of cups, okay. And um, the present energy for the reading, the knight of cups in reverse, judgment in reverse, with the King of Wands. And the future energy, it's the Seven of Cups, the Sun in Reverse, with the Five of Swords in Reverse. The Seven of Cups, the Sun in Reverse, and the Five, okay. And the Five of Swords in Reverse. And the overall energy of the reading is the Six of Wands. So, this could be talking about like a potential reconciliation this is what someone wants or this could even be you moving forward as well okay so when I clarify I'll gain more insight but it seems like in the past there could have been an ending or this connection could have gone through like major changes so I see because things were someone was not being expressive so there were things that were hidden in the dark with the moon there could have been like fantasizing and dreaming okay because I don't really see someone speaking their truth, even though they do have romantic feelings towards you. And if this person was um, communicating, um, they were not doing it in an honest fashion, okay? With the Seven of Swords, the Ace of Swords in reverse with the Page of Cups. So it seems like things were hidden in the dark. Now, um, I do see someone having a lot of passion towards you, but they're not being expressive. So the Knight of Cups is showing up in reverse and Judgment in reverse. So this is telling me that this person is indecisive. Now, I feel like there is someone that's thinking about you quite a bit with the Seven of Cups, okay? Again, talking about like fantasizing and dreaming, there is contemplation. And someone could be quite unhappy that things haven't taken a turn for the positive. And I feel like there is someone that's wanting to overcome conflict with the Five of Swords in reverse, okay? So when I clarify, I'll gain more insight. So let me clarify the Six of Wands. Clarifying the Six of Wands for the overall energy for Scorpio. The Six of Wands. The Six of Wands for Scorpio. The Six of Wands. The Six of Wands for Scorpio. The Six of Wands for Scorpio. Okay. So, clarifying the Six of Wands for Scorpio. Um, the King of Pentacles... With death, oh boy, so this is really talking about like an ending. So there could have been an ending, but I don't see someone, if this is someone that's moving forward, I don't see them detaching emotionally with the Eight of Cups in reverse. 
So maybe this is someone that's want. Well, look at that. So maybe this is someone that's wanting there to be changes, like with death. So there is like that potential for stability with the four of wands. They're wanting the situation to transform. So this could very well be talking about a potential reconciliation. So let me clarify death. Justice. With the Queen of Swords in reverse. Interesting. And the Ten of Cups in reverse. So I feel like there may not even be communication or someone's not being direct about how they feel with the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Cups in reverse. I feel like someone's quite unhappy, okay? But it's like they're wanting to make things right. They're wanting to balance things out. But um, there could have been an ending. So maybe this is you wanting there to be truth and honesty, wanting there to be balance. But let me clarify the moon before I say anything. The two of pentacles. The six of cups. Oh boy. With the seven of pentacles in reverse. So I see someone weighing their options, trying to figure out what to do, okay? And yet there being confusion. So I don't see this person really investing their time and energy into this connection. I feel like they, they, they kept... It could be po possible that it was like them weighing their options between their past and present, or there was something from their past that they were keeping hidden from you, okay? Um, So, that, so that's why there could have been an ending, possibly. Because something did not pan out. But I do see someone weighing their options, trying to figure out what to do. So let me clarify this. Seven of Swords, the Ace of Swords, in reverse, and the Page of Cups. Look at that. That's so many cards, but I'm going to take them. As I don't know why a lot of cards want to pop out specifically for this, um, for these cards here. But it's, it's like um, you're showing up as a queen of pentacles. So you're very loving, very nurturing, very dependable. And um, I feel like you do have clarity. So I don't, so even if someone may be keeping things from you, I, I feel like you do have clarity. And uh, I kind of see you going through the healing process uh, with the Hermit. Although there is something unfinished within this dynamic and someone could have unresolved feelings, but they're not kind of, they're not being honest and they're not communicating to it to you. And that could have caused confusion, like why this person wasn't speaking their truth even though there was clarity. So I kind of see you healing with the Hermit. I, I feel like you do have awareness. Someone could have been feeling cautious though, right? And if there was communication, it could have been tentative communication. But let me clarify the Knight of Cups in reverse. Oh, the Three of Swords. One second, I'll be back. Yeah, like this, this person's not really taking action because there could very well be pain with the Three of Swords. The Empress. So maybe this person did cause you pain. Or there could very well be pain between the both of you, but you're showing up as the Empress. You're very loving, very nurturing, and very beautiful, okay? So let me clarify judgment in reverse. Like, yes, yeah, see, you see what I'm saying? It's like um, the moon is showing up in reverse. So there is clarity. I feel like things are not quite hidden in the dark, but yet someone's still indecisive. And uh, because they're confused uh, with the eight of pentacles in reverse, like on what to do. So it's like the two of pentacles in reverse and the eight of pentacles in reverse. 
with the seven of pentacles and this person has a lot of love for you so i feel like they do have clarity regarding their feelings but yet they're still indecisive and um let me clarify the king of wands oh boy look at that it's so the page of swords i feel like they do have they do want to communicate how they feel with the Page of Swords and the Page of Cups. But they could have a fear of being left out in the cold. Like a fear of rejection. So maybe that's why they're not really uh, communicating directly. I feel like you do have a sense of awareness though. But let's see. Let me clarify the Seven of Cups. <laughs> just as I said it it's like uh, the high priestess the devil oh boy look at that the world in reverse with the lover so it seems like you are dealing with a very special connection and I, I feel like you are listening to your intuition or you're having to listen to your intuition but with this specific circumstances with the devil um, it could be a quite an intense connection and there is desire with the devil and the lovers and there could be like even um so it's not just romantic feelings it's like physical attraction specifically when the lovers and the devil show up together so i don't really see an end to a cycle so i feel like there is fantasizing and dreaming okay um you could even be dealing with a very intuitive connection so let me clarify the sun in reverse The Six of Wands. But I feel like if this person isn't expressing how they feel towards you, it can, it can be quite like unhealthy, right? Especially if it's like um, uh, a connection that's up in one's head space where there's like fantasizing and dreaming. Um, but look at that. It's like, even though this person's been thrown off, I, I feel like they're wanting to move forward here because the situation is making them quite unhappy. So the chariot is someone that moves forward with determination. Yeah, like them having to get out of their headspace because the Ace of Pentacles is showing up in reverse. So let me clarify the Five of Swords in reverse. The King of Swords. Oh boy. So Oh, okay, let's see. So you could be dealing with a very spiritual connection, okay? Um, but uh, with this situation, because they've been thrown off, they could appear as if they're detached or even cold, right? So the King of Swords tries to be logical, practical, um, possibly even in control over their emotions, so I don't really see them swiftly communicating with the Eight of Wands in reverse. So that could be a choice that they're making. Judgment talks about like a fated encounter. And if things haven't like, I feel like the situation is making someone quite unhappy. Like they're seeing this as being a missed opportunity. So it's like they're having to get out of their headspace. Look at that. Like the Eight of Swords is showing up in reverse and the Eight of Wands in reverse. So they're having to get out of their headspace in order to communicate. Because Judgment talks about like a fated encounter and someone having to make a profound choice. So I feel like the situation can go either end. Like endings and new beginnings where you move forward, okay? Or this person communicates how they feel or else it's going to be like a missed opportunity with the ace of pentacles in reverse okay so let me get further insight from the intimate tarot the intimate tarot for Scorpio the intimate tarot for Scorpio Scorpio. 
Okay. Scorpio. The wheel. The eight of swords. Oh boy. So someone is um, stuck in their headspace and there could very well be conflict between you and this person, but it's like they're wanting there to be positive changes. The wheel again talks about like a fated encounter, time, and this person is not being quite honest about how they feel with the seven of swords. I feel like they're wanting to communicate and express how they feel. Um, and just as I said it, they could have intense feelings towards you. And Sorry about that. And with the star, there is desire, a desire to heal things, um, to balance things out. But again, this could even be you going through the healing process. Oops. But the Eight of Wands talks about like communication. Eight could be a significant number. And I see a match between the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So you're seeing you as someone that's very charming, attractive, charismatic, confident. They could very well be suppressing their desires. Okay. But um, let's see. Let me get messages from. The so I feel like this situation could go either way. I see them wanting to communicate how they feel though, but being kind of fear, like having fears of being left out in the cold. And there's like an intensity and an, in, like a, towards this connection. So it's not just romantic feelings. It's like physical attraction. It could be even intuitive, like an intuitive connection. Look at that, just as I said, a physical touch, a tender touch can mean so much. So that's card 47, which is 11. So there is like physical attraction. And there we go. So that makes sense. So it's like um, card number seven. The, the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. And card number 20, which is I love you. These are powerful words. So it just seems like there, there is love. Um, because this is really talking about like changes, someone not walking away with the eight of cups in reverse, like they, they're not, walk, they're not emotionally detached from this connection, even if they may appear as if that's the case with the king of swords, but they got the king of cups and the king of wands. Okay. So let's see, let me get messages from the romance angel deck for Scorpio, please. Scorpio. 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 Um, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so like letting it letting go of fears right and just look at that like let go like if you make it more lighthearted, playful flirtation um it's like there there would be less fear right not wanting to be too serious Okay, so let me get messages from this new deck that I got. Okay, oh, that card wanted to so come out. This is, okay, this is like card number 13, which is for rise above the dark days of life. Do not fight them, but have faith that the light will always return. It's something about being like lighthearted, right? Not being too serious. Um, so for any of you who's going through some sort of struggle, it's like rise above the dark days of life, right? And card number um, 37, which is 10. A message is trying to reach you. Be vigilant. The spirit world wishes to find and touch you. Okay. <laughs> So this is, I feel like these are messages for anyone that's going through a difficult time. Okay. And that's my reading for you, Scorpio, and I'll see you next time. Take care.